Even the blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> Country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mouth's up. Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey. all right. Oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again.
Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth Don't it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. something before you're spotted. Arthur, I... I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? 
I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise!
Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, have lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Micah, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy.
Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? It's for his own good. This is done, Abigail. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. I guess. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You're going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our... Reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. 
Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. His men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. Damn it, Arthur! What the hell are you doing? I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. smoke, all right? Be back in a bit.
little house. For Christ's sakes, Pennington, you're taking us for a ride here. I'd say I'm sorry, fellas, but I've been lying. <laughs> Don't know what I'm gonna tell my wife. Sorry, darling, no food this month. That cheating bastard Pennington robbed it all. Send her over to me, I got lots of money. <laughs> what the hell? Chip, we got a problem here. You know, I never had a son. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. 
Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combe's dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. It's okay, girl.
This is no place for you. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors, 
He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Ah! What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you, I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. on that horse. Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. like that. So you was just talking about something? It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, 
We don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. Hey! This ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Okay, let's continue on. So back to what I was talking about. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. son once years ago don't talk about him much no what was his name Isaac his mother Eliza was a waitress I met when she got pregnant she, she knew who I was what my life was I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep but I said I'd do right by them every few months I'd stop by there for a few days he was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him. And shot him dead. And offered $10. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. You were saying before you rode off? But I know now that. You don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan.
It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please! The Chinupa is gone. Cool. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. It's ruined. More over here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. This is a place of peace. Help me look around, please! The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is. Uh, a ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Huh. Rangefall, over here. Think I see an army camp. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. 
Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... Actions don't always go the way you plan. Thank you. 
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak. Need you now, girl. Idiot.
Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? I ain't interested, feller. All right, no problem. No harm in asking. Yep. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with... Do caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Fabian, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, and maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, I like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean... I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. 
Or an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's get up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now, all I do is clean. Well... Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Come on, girl.
Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Girl, 